What is going on, Thunderstruck Gaming? This is Ninja Geek here, and we... Oh, what the... Oh, can't have a death without a sniper in Black Ops 2, but we are bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay here. Talk going to be talking about some Black Ops 3, and what better to discuss Black Ops 3 than to talk about the best equipment that's coming to Black Ops 3. Want to know what that is? Is it the C4? Well, it's in the game, but no, we're not going to be talking about the C4 today. We're going to be talking about... The Shock Charge! The Shock Charge is coming to Black Ops 3, man. I can't wait for that thing. That thing is so amazing. The Shock Charge was the best equipment in Black Ops 2. I used it on every match of mine, and I loved it. It worked out so great for me. Nah, guys, I'm just fucking with you, man. The Shock Charge is the worst piece of equipment in Call of Duty history, and when I mean the worst, I mean the most frustrating piece of equipment in Call of Duty history. Not the most, but it is one of the most. Combining the Shock Charge in Black Ops 2 with the Bouncing Betty was an insta-death. Oh my god, and here, one of the infamous times where I get prone blocked. Just hate when that happens, I end up picking up a sniper here. But, um, the Black Ops 2 combo of the Shock Charge and the Bouncing Betty was just an insta-death, because you would just be shocked, you couldn't do anything, and then you were dead by the Bouncing Betty. I mean, you could try and go prone, but try going prone while you're Shock Charged with a Shock Charge. It just, it, it was so annoying and frustrating that hopefully within Black Ops 3, the Shock Charge will not be as powerful as Black Ops 2. But then, wait a second, why am I even questioning that? Vaughn, why did you put the shock charge back in the game? I mean, you know people thought it was frustrating. I don't know if there's Bouncing Bettys in Black Ops 3. I have no clue. I don't know the whole equipment list, but from what I could tell, the shock charge looks exactly the same. I saw people got hit with it. I don't know if there's a TAC mass perk. I think there is, but... Still, that shock charge, man, even though if there's no bouncing Bettys, I don't know why Vaughn decided to put it in the game. I don't know who thought but that putting a shock charge back into the game was good. I don't know if it was Vaughn. I don't know who over there at the team of Treyarch decided to put the shock charge back into the game. I don't know who thought that it was an ex so good of an idea. And, and even if it is in the game, man, please do not make a Bouncing Betty with it. So you could put the Bouncing Betty on the same class if there is a Bouncing Betty. I don't know if there is, but don't do that, man. I mean, that was so, that was so frustrating within Black Ops 2. And uh, I it was just completely frustrating running over one of those things. The only way you could counter it was Tac Mask, but still, even with that, I mean, you had to be running it on one of your classes, which I always usually have because I have a Domination class. And... Uh, and, and next thing that I want to talk about within Black Ops 3 is the high caliber perk. Oh my god, Treyarch. What, I mean, uh, I, I don't know if I have a problem with the perk itself or the overpowered pistols. Because putting this perk on the pistols is just going to make them even more melty. I mean, look at the pistols in Black Ops 2. I guarantee they're going to be the same way in Black Ops 3. I mean, you could basically use a pistol as a primary. Look at the B2-3 primary. The B2 primary, my baby. That thing is a beast. You don't even need anything else. Just slap that on with no attachments, even if you got no attachments, and you're basically set for golden standards. Just slap the B23R on, and you are good to go within Black Ops 2. I hope the pistols are not the same way within Black Ops 3, but adding this high caliber attachment on is just going to make them worse. And why? Now, of course, they removed toughness from the game, which was excellent. Thank you, Treyarch, for removing a crucial perk that everyone had to run, because we all know Thunder talking about the Holy Trinity all the damn time it was lightweight toughness dexterity i don't want that to happen in black ops 3 so thank you for removing toughness from the game but the flinch man the flinch on the show on the soldiers in black ops 3 with that high caliber attachment that's going to mean if you're running a pistol if you get shot there's flinch is going to go up you're more likely to get a headshot now and if you get a headshot it's going to be a two shot with a pistol and, uh, yeah, that, that's an instant melt pistol, Vaughn. I don't know. I mean, maybe having the high caliber attachment is a good thing, but don't put it on the pistols. Don't make it an attachment for the pistols themselves because people are just going to be running that around with pistols as primaries, and that's not what you want to do. That's not, that's not how Call of Duty is supposed to work. Of course, within Advanced Warfare and within Ghosts, I think the pistols were complete garbage, and nobody wanted to use them. But here in Black Ops 2, everyone used them as primaries. So there's got to be some sort of a balance factor. 
and hopefully uh, Vonderhaar, hopefully Treyarch themselves can fix that and fix the balance of the pistols to match every other gun within the game. And that's it on today's gameplay. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and thank you Thunder for uploading this to your channel. I really do appreciate it. Just the end of a domination match where I ended up, we ended up coming in for the win. And I will see you over on my channel. I'm Ninja Geek. I'm out. Peace. UAV on standby. Reloading. Lightning strike awaiting coordinates. UAV inbound.